Hello everyone and a special hello to all my subscribers old and new. In today's video we'll walk you through enhancing your family tree in Family Tree Maker by adding media. While putting names, dates and facts into your tree are the foundation of your tree, the power of photographs, documents and audiovisual clips breathe life into your family tree. Join us on this journey to elevate your family history presentation. So let's begin. You may ask the question, what types of media can I put in my family tree? While photographs are often the go-to choice for illustrating your family history, it is essential not to restrict yourself. Consider incorporating a variety of items into your tree, including documents like birth, death and marriage certificates, census, passports, family bibles, photos of items of jewellery, medals and everyday items that were used, photos of homes, hometowns, newspapers, businesses, maps, cemeteries and headstones. Scan documents or photos of letters, funeral books, diaries, Christmas cards, newspapers and magazine articles. Even audio clips featuring oral histories and family stories. Or even a short video. Now let's have a look at Family Tree Maker. Okay, the first thing we're going to show you is adding media to a person. So we've opened up Family Tree Maker and we want to go to the tree that we want to add the media to. So we go up here, you can either open it from down here or go up here and I want to open this tree, open tree. Now we've got the tree open, we find the person we want to add the media to. So this is the person here that I want to add the media to. Then we go to the person tab at the top and then we go down the bottom where all these links are, or tabs sorry, click on media. On the little new button where the little plus sign is where it says new, click on the drop down arrow and add new media, click on that. Now we go to where you have your photo. So here's my photo. So I'll click on that and then go choose. And there it is down the bottom. Double click on the photo. Now we can put a category, go edit. And here are all the categories and we want photos. You can put more than one category and go OK. And we can put a description up the top under caption. I'm just tidying up what it said in the first place. And you can put a description down here. Now there's a little button here that says private. If you tick on that, when you upload the tree to Ancestry, it won't go there. And see down the bottom here, there's a little padlock. That means it won't move to your tree on Ancestry. If you unclick it, it's not private anymore. And then you just go OK. If you have a note you want to add to the photo you've just added, double click on the photo and up the top here on the right hand side it says details and notes. You can click on notes and then you can type something in here. And then you can also make that private as well. And one more thing, go back to details, you can add a date. So 
I know he arrived in 1925, so I can put 1925. And then we go OK. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a profile picture. There is two ways to do it. You can go down here to the photo, go set as profile picture. We'll do this first. And you can go auto zoom and it'll zoom into the person's face or you could zoom it in the way you want it yourself. I think auto zoom is better. And then you go apply. You click on the photo, add new picture and go to where you have the picture you want click on that choose and it'll bring up the picture now if you go auto zoom and just move it to where you want it and go apply and there you have a profile picture now that photo i just put in has another person in it so I want to link that photo to the person in the tree so I go to that person and I go down the bottom where the plus is and I go on the drop down link to existing media now I've put it under photos in the category so I'll just click on photos and there it is so I just click on it, OK, and now it's under her media. Now I can go up here and go link to existing media, OK, auto zoom, and just go out a bit. and go apply to show you how to scan a photo or a document into your tree now you need a scanner for this that's connected to your computer so you turn on your scanner and make sure it is connected to your computer click on the new with the plus and you go scan media or you do import from camera so we go scan media and then you click on your printer and then you go let's move it across scan and it's brought it in so and it looks a bit funny so we double click and then we click up here open file And then we can do a little magic, edit it, and we got to go crop. So we just highlight the little photo. crop and we fit image bring it up like that now we put the details or the caption I should say sorry I'm not sure about the date so I'll put Unknown, and we'll put category. It's a photo. Now, if you had a document, you would put documents or census. If you had audio, you'd put audio or video. You'd click on the video. So we put if it's a photo, and then if we had a description. And 
if we had a note we'll click on the notes and write something in there and we'll click on private if we wanted to private and then we just go OK. Put a video in. I haven't personally got a video of my grandmother but I made one with all photos so I'm going to put that in the tree. So we go down here, we go new, add media, add new media and I'll go and find it up top choose and then I want to put the details in so I want to click on it and little pencil to edit um, the captions right I made it the other day so I'll put the 15th to the 11th 2023 and I'll put photos of Hilda Grace Blythe and I go OK and if you want to play it you can just double click and it will stop. Now you can do audio files, anything like that, and it will, and you can upload them. And it gives a nice touch to your family tree. And there you have it adding media to your family tree maker. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it enjoyable, please support us by liking, subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you never miss a video. So please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Also, just a quick update, we've got new merch in the shop. So if you like some cuffed beanies to keep you warm while you're doing your research, go check it out in the description. There's a link so you can just go to the shop. So we appreciate your support and hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.